All right, this is my solar tracker. I'm showing you one of them right here. Uh, kind of give you some dimensions and things uh, on the tracker itself. You can see it's a pretty good sunshiny day. Uh, I generated more so far. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon more than what I should have generated all day long. But I want to talk about the building of this. As you can see the underside it's all metal. Um, start off if you've looked at the plans that I have set up for you you can see that on the structure itself it's pretty much a metal structure here uh, if you decide to build your own you'll start off with that tubing that's underneath that's quarter that's one and a half inch square tubing 11 gauge make sure you get the 11 gauge not the 16 because it's a lot stronger usually it comes in 24 foot pieces and what I've got here is a 14 foot piece going from the top to the bottom you can see that on both sides I've got two of those one on each side there of that and then the other um, part of that 10 feet of it actually goes across from the top uh, on, on the, the top side one in the middle one on the bottom right there uh, those are welded together um, when you get your metal to put that together with you also want to make sure and get some of the uh, bar. Now I like the bar on here. You can see up there the bar running across the back in the top in the middle right there and there's one also at the bottom that you can see kind of right there that holds everything up. Now let me go over here a little bit so you can get a little better view of what I'm talking about on this. The bar is welded to the bottom of the structure down the bottom side to the bottom of the metal on the top and also across the top up that way. You can see it up there at the top it's welded to that. That will give it a little bit more support, a little bit more strength to be able to hold up. This is 3 inch Schedule 40 pipe. On the outside there, you'll see 3.5 inch Schedule 40 pipe that that's rotating inside of. I don't know if you can see it real well or not. I'll try to get a little closer. That's a collar right there made of 3.5 inch Schedule 40 pipe with uh, some half inch, uh, 4 inch, uh, 4 inch thick, 4 inch wide, half inch thick metal that holds all holds everything up it all rotates on that on the top and that's all welded together now I do want to caution you before you get too far into it you're going to want to make sure let's see if I can find some here on the camera let me back off a little bit you can kind of see right there you want to make sure before you put that before you put it up to drill your holes in this metal. I didn't do that. That was a mistake. Uh, I had to drill all these holes and you can see there's one on each one one of the um, the iron the, the rails that, that hold the panels on. I had to drill those holes after I got it put up. Please make sure and mark those and drill them before you do anything else before you paint it or anything. This is all mounted on here and welded to the bar. You can see it right there. 
welded there. Uh, starting to move a little bit. And there at the top, in the middle and the top, and underneath, that's welded to that. And you want to try to make sure and miss those holes right there. Now I've got a piece of that bar also that holds this last one on so I could have nine of the panels on here. Right now I've got eight uh, up the sides and one down at the bottom. This is a four foot piece of the bar on the bottom piece here. And that kind of helps hold this last solar panel on. Um, on the back, what I've done here, this was set up to allow it to move up and down for the seasons. Right now it's set up pretty much at the winter time season. I didn't want to raise it all the way up because I thought it might be a little bit too high. And to keep it out of the wind, um, but from the parts list, that's two and a half inch, three sixteenths metal that you see in there that's made out of the structure. And the structure itself is eight foot of that two and a half inch bar that's welded to a bar going across the bottom. That's ten foot down at the bottom, eight and a half foot, and we've got a two foot piece there in the center. I'll get a little closer to it now so you can see it and this is a, this is a, a two and a half inch piece and that's a two inch piece of schedule 40 going through there so it's pretty sturdy pretty rigid holding that up everything's welded everything's pretty well painted uh, you can see my panels they probably could be routed a little bit better. I'm still working on things. Uh, with the Envoy uh, M250 microinverters on there to help with the shading and things. But there's this and the bar moving down the center. Uh, notice the cable on here too. The cable is here to keep it from sliding back. I actually put the ring on the wrong side up here at the top you'll notice the ring here on the front of that no problem with this going backwards the problem is or going forward the problem is it goes backwards so to keep it from going too far when I raise it up and lower it I actually put the cable on there because it will tend to slide back I've got a u-bolt on there and that's not really doing a whole lot of good but this cable works pretty well to hold it together. All right, it's moved again about every three minutes or so. Um, so oh, what I would suggest is putting one of those rings on both sides and just welding it to the bar on both sides. We actually were going to use screws but and to hold it down but it actually worked better to weld it to that once we got it together. So weld one of those on both sides so it won't slide uh, when you raise it up. Uh, right now it's about 30 degrees, something like that, but I can drop it down to about 25 degrees and it does make a difference in the winter time, in the summertime, dropping that down. So I get actually get a swing of the sun above and below it. Now, um, those are eight foot pieces there. That's a two foot piece there with holes drilled in it uh, in, in the center. The two and a half, uh, two, the two inch um, square rebar and it's all square uh, goes up the center so I can raise it and lower it and there's a bar across the the back there you see that little bar there I use that to put a come along on there and also in that hole right there to be able to raise it and lower it and it works pretty well raising and lowering just make sure you seal that up and uh, every once in a while I'll come out and spray some uh, wasp spray in there because I did get stung pretty bad this uh, this spring or this fall exit when I tried to raise it up. Now down here, this is the actuator. That's a piece of three and a half inch metal tubing right here. Three and a half inch. Uh, 
the three inch sits down inside there. This is angle iron right here. And it's welded to the very top, perpendicular to the panels. So when the actuator moves that, it'll actually be lined up with it and kind of tell you know, when it lines up with the sun. This, really I should have welded it a little bit further down here. You only want about an inch of offset, and I've got a little too much offset, so I had to put a piece of the four inch Schedule 40 right here to kind of hold that off of there. And the actuator does a pretty good job moving everything. Uh, I've got some trees in the morning that kind of mess with things a little bit, so I don't really have it coming all the way over. Really, if you wanted it to be able to come further over, you might want to take that bar, drop it down a little bit more, and then make that bar across on top of this longer for a 36 inch um, actuator. This is a 24 inch actuator right here. And it works pretty well on that. This is welded here at the bottom. And this is a swivel down inside here. I noticed I had to put a piece of wood inside here. This bolt is not quite the same size as what this is. So it wobbles a little bit uh, when it goes past the center point. So you want to make sure that your pipe in, inside diameter is about the same as the outside diameter of your post there. This is a piece of Schedule 40. Three inch pipe, the same thing that the, that the mount's made out of. Five feet long. I just bought another piece of it. I've got four of the trackers. And you can kind of see them down here. I got four of the trackers, so I bought another one of those. Cut it up. It comes in 20 foot pieces. I cut it up into five foot pieces. Drilled two holes in it uh, so I can put rebar in there. Welded half inch iron here and here to the bottom and made a little cradle for it so this moves up and down. Um, this is angle this is L angle iron right here and it goes along the side and the bottom of that to hold that all up and give me a place to weld the um, to weld the, the side to. I really wanted to put angle iron on there but that half inch stuff works pretty well. I would use angle instead of that though because it won't it won't flex at that point and just use that instead. Uh, as far as how well it works, I'm getting about 40% more on each one uh, than what I should have of the system. This is a 10 kilowatt system. On a good day, uh, instead of having a half an hour of peak, I'll get five hours of peak production out of it uh, and still get pretty good production in the evenings. So. Um, like a, a day I should be running about 28 kilowatts, I'll run about 60 uh, when it's full sunlight like it is today. Um, the plans for this are on, are, I'm going to put those online so you can build your own. You can use those if you want to, you can use something else, you can modify it if you do. I want you to let me know about that if you could. Also, uh, uh, please don't sell the plans. I'm going to put those on there for free. I don't want to make money on this. I want everybody to be able to use it. Uh, I have a plan. I've never seen a plan for these things online. If you have any questions or anything, you can get in touch with me through the YouTube site. And please like my site if you uh, enjoy this video, if it makes any sense to you. Also, uh, you might notice on some, one of my other sites, you can also ask questions. Uh, they actually pop up on my phone so I can answer back pretty quick if you have questions on anything. And just uh, uh, good luck with your system. Hope it works out well for you. I really like what, what, uh, what mine's done for my electric bill. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.